Well, there's another cracking weekend of Premier League action to look forward to. Myself, Warren Ashurst and Simon Barlow alongside me to run you through our two best bets of the weekend. Simon, we'll start with your selections then. What are we looking at first? Well, I'm going to look at the Manchester derby. I've got a vested interest in this, being a United fan. And I think, you know, there is a bit of optimism about, you know, the uh, red half of Manchester going into this game following the Tottenham match. Manchester City are going to be no easy beats, obviously, and they're still in the title race. They still believe that they can win. Got a decent result against Burnley. Uh, but again, they've not kept a clean sheet, which just gives Manchester United a bit of hope in this one. In fact, City haven't kept a clean sheet in their last eight games in all competitions. Don't expect Manchester United to keep a clean sheet either. The defence is still an issue for me. And they haven't kept a clean sheet in the last 11 away games. So I think both teams will score here. And I can't believe the price as well. 17 to 20 for both teams to score in this one. That, if, that does look like a cracking price. To yeah, exactly. And if you're looking for one specific Manchester United player to score, it's got to be Marcus Rashford. Yeah. He's the go-to guy at the moment. He scored in Manchester Derby. He scored winners in Manchester Derby's in the past. He's actually uh, scored 14 goals in his last 30. Sorry, been involved in 14 goals. That's goals and assists in, in the last uh, 13 games for club and country. So he's in great form coming into this match. If you're looking for a Man City goal scorer, I wouldn't look at Gabriel Jesus. There's a lot of pressure on his shoulders at the moment. Mm. Subbing for uh, Sergio Aguero, who's of course out injured. He hasn't scored in his last 10 home games at the Etihad Stadium. So I'll be looking away from Gabriel Jesus and maybe looking at Ilkay Gundogan. Good player, comes from midfield, arrives late, good shot on him. Very intelligent player as well. Pep Guardiola uh, really rates him uh, at the moment and he scored in two of his last Manchester derbies. He's 9-2 to two any time for this one. OK, well, that's Simon's first suggestion. And, of course, Manchester derby is the late game in the Premier League on Saturday. I'm going to have a look at the early game in the Premier League on Saturday. And I fancy Everton to cause a bit of an upset here at 5-2 to two at Goodison Park with the crowd behind them. How often do we see it when a manager loses his job that players almost kind of respond to that. And of course, they don't know who's going to be the new manager yet. They want to try and impress. And they've got a really good record against Chelsea as well at Stamford Bridge. Uh, sorry, at uh, Goodison Park. Not at Stamford Bridge, but at Goodison, they have a good record. And uh, they have, in fact, lost just one of uh, the last five meetings between the sides on Merseyside. They won 2-0 last season in this game. And I also think that at 5-2 at home against the Chelsea side, who aren't in great form, of course, he did beat Villa in midweek. But prior to that, they hadn't won any of the last three Premier League outings. So I do think that Everton do represent good value. Richarlison, by the way, as well, he scored three goals in the last four games. He tends to score them in bunches. And he also scored in this fixture last season as well. So at 13-5 to five to score at any time. I think that could well be a bet to watch as well. But I'm going for Everton to win 5-2 to two against Chelsea. What's your uh, second tip then of the weekend, Simon? Yeah, I think there's a really good statistical matchup between Watford and Crystal Palace mm. in the game played at 3 o'clock on Saturday. Watford are winless, the only Premier League team who've not won at home this season. Um, they're at home to a Palace side who've won nine of their last 16 away Premier League games. You know, it's incredible that Palace are actually underdogs for this match. 21-10 mm. to 10 you can get for a Palace win. They've just recorded back-to-back -back victories against uh, Burnley and Bournemouth. Clean sheets in both games. I like the look of a, a, of a Crystal Palace clean sheet in this mm. game, which you can get at 5-2, would you believe? Mm. Um, so, you know, just Watford are a team who I think are looking rudderless. They're not really sure what the best eleven is. They haven't got a manager, permanent manager at the moment. Um, there's, there's real... Worries there. I mean, they've got a lot of injuries as well at the moment. Yep. So I think there's a lot going for Crystal Palace in this game to get another win. And a win would take them, I think, up to fifth if the results go their way on Saturday. So they're, they're a team to, to look at. I think they're a good price at 21 to 10. Also, watch out for the Wilfred Zaha factor in this one. Yeah. Because there's history between Watford and Zaha. Troy Deeney, the uh, Watford uh, captain, said that they took it in turns to kick him out of the game mm. when they last played uh, at Vicarage Road last season. Prior to that, there was an issue with Harry the Hornet, the Watford mascot, winding him yeah. up. Um, Wilfred Zaha will be highly motivated for this one. But watch out also for bookings mm. because um, over three and a half yellow cards in this one is uh, five to six. And actually Watford themselves have had four yellow cards on each of the last two times they've faced Wilfred Zaha in the Premier League. Yeah, there's no love lost between those two clubs. I think it's fair to say over the last few seasons, Roy Hodgson had a run-in with Harry the Hornet as well. So you can imagine there might be a little bit of tempers frayed in that game at Vicarage Road. And I think, like Simon, I think it's an outstanding price for Palace. Uh, my final tip for this weekend is going to be on a Sunday game. And I'm going for an away win at the match at Carrow Road where Norwich take on Sheffield United. Sheffield United as big as 11-8 to 8 to win there. Yes, they lost in midweek against Newcastle and it was a shock defeat, bearing in mind how well the Blades have been playing over recent weeks. But I think they'll bounce back. They normally do bounce back very well. And I think this is the ideal fixture for them because Norwich... 
will feel this is a game that they could potentially go and win. They'll have to come out, and that will mean that Sheffield United will be able to hit them on the break and potentially grab all three points. They're unbeaten in three against the Canaries, and of course they faced each other in the Championship last season as well, and that was a 2-2 draw when they met at Carrow Road last season. The two of those games that they're unbeaten in were at Carrow Road. They won in their previous trip there to East Anglia as well, so I think they've got good form against Norwich. The Blades unbeaten in seven away from home, which is the most important statistic going Going into this game, while Norwich have only won one of the last six at Carrow Road, all the things point to me anyway for a potential away win for Chris Wilder's men, and I think at 11 to 8 offers really, really good value for the Blades to come away with three points. That's what Simon and I think then. What about your thoughts on this weekend's best bets and what you think we have come up with in terms of our offerings? Let us know on our social media channels, of course, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.